the war, the conflict in northern Ethiopia started almost two years ago. And in many ways, we're back to square one. Despite all of the efforts of humanitarian actors, including the World Food Programme, as of today, there is virtually no access and hence no humanitarian support going into Tigray. But in fact, this is a conflict that is much greater than Tigray alone. This is impacting over 13 million people across northern Ethiopia. Tigray is the one that's grabbing a lot of the headlines, and rightfully so. But it's important to recognise that this is impacting over 13 million across the north, including in Amhara and Afar. And add to that, there's another emergency going on, and I suspect we'll come to it later in the conversation. Almost 20 million people are impacted by either the conflicts or the drought in Ethiopia today. So huge pressure on the country, and it's a reflection of what's happening actually across the region. We've never seen the food security situation as bad in Eastern Africa and the Horn as we are today. This time last year, 51 million people in IPC 3, 4 and 5. So acutely food insecure, acutely hungry. Today, that number is up to 82 million. So it's increased by over 31 million in less than 12 months. And my great fear is that we're not at the top of those numbers. We're not at the bottom of the situation across the region. So uh, delighted to be with you, looking forward to the conversation. But it's very important to frame what's happening in northern Ethiopia in the context of the region and, in fact, globally. We've never seen a global food crisis to the extent that we are today.